So nitric oxide is a neurotransmitter and a gas that is like released by nerve endings in the body to increase blood flow to certain parts of the body where that's needed. Certain parts of the body, do you, do you mean? Yeah, the penis. What's up everybody, I'm JC Mendoza. Welcome to Uncomfortable Questions, where I get to ask a doctor questions that we're all dying to know, but are a little bit too embarrassed to ask about. And today with me, as always, is the one and only Dr. Peter Stahl. He's a board certified urologist and a nationally recognized leader in male sexual medicine. I have a lot of questions, a lot of things that I wanna talk about. And actually, how about a little science lesson today, Dr. Pete? Yeah, I like science. All right, perfect. So I have been thinking a lot about nitric oxide supplements. Okay. Right, we've all been getting a lot of questions about them. I know a lot of people are curious about them. First question, what is nitric oxide? Uh, so it comes up in a couple of different scenarios. In, in, in my world, in sexual medicine, it comes up because nitric oxide is the neurotransmitter, so the molecule that nerves release that turns on an erection. Mm. Right, so it's like a very important molecule in sexual health. It also comes up in uh, like pre-workout routines and in uh, other dietary supplements for people looking to, to sort of build muscle and workout, ah. uh, or even to enhance uh, like physical performance during exercise or sports. Because what nitric oxide does in the penis and everywhere else in the body is open up uh, blood flow. So is it is nitric oxide the, the thing that gets you going, like the thing that actually excites you, gives you the energy? In both cases, nitric oxide is like the, it's happening at the end organ, right? So like at the end of whatever process, like in sex, starts in the brain, uh, eventually this arousal signal gets to the nerve endings at the penis, then nitric oxide is released and it, you know, getting, you know, the penis getting hard is kind of one of the later phases of the sexual response. Mm. So, you know, that that's where, where it is in that. I thought nitric oxide was like what was in cars to make cars go really fast. Like you hit the nitrous and you zoom up out of it. So nitrous oxide is like a totally different thing. Oh. I think of that as like what the dentist gives you. Oh, is that what the dentist yeah, gives you? Yeah, uh, laughing gas, right? All right, um, so I'm assuming that taking nitric oxide based on the way that you described it, like prescribing it for erectile dysfunction symptoms, that would be a slam dunk, wouldn't it? All right, so let's talk, so first of all, you can't take nitric oxide because oh. it's actually a gas, ah. right? That gets released at, at nerve endings. But what you can take are building blocks of nitric oxide. So nitric oxide in the body is made from an amino acid, which is like a protein building block mm -hmm. called arginine. And arginine is something that you can take as arginine in a dietary supplement, or you can also take a different amino acid called citrulline that gets broken up into uh, into arginine. So there's really two nitric oxide boosters that are out there. They're arginine and citrulline. Okay, so if you take those things in conjunction, like along with your erectile dysfunction medicine, is that something that could work? We do know that nitric oxide boosters like arginine and citrulline can be effective at enhancing sexual function a little bit mm -hmm. in certain situations, but it's only when you take the right doses and you take them every day. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, you, you really need more than two to three grams, so 2,000 to 3,000 milligrams wow. of arginine in order to see a boost in, in erectile function. And to answer your question, yeah, there's some data that if you take sildenafil, for example, and arginine together, mm -hmm. that the enhancement on erectile function is better than taking sildenafil alone. It's like a little extra help, like a little boost. Yeah, I think that's right. You know. Got you. Understand. So are there ways to boost nitric oxide levels without taking supplements? I would imagine you could eat foods that contain a lot of arginine or citrulline, although I, I actually don't know what those foods would be. All right, what, one thing that I have here in front of me, they say that some research suggests that beetroot juice is a natural antioxidant rich source of nitric oxide. Is that is that a thing that you've heard before, beet, beetroot juice? I haven't, but I'm, I'm willing to be a believer. Yeah, I, and now that I think about it, my girlfriend has started like sneakily introducing beets to like salads and stuff that she makes me. Is she trying to, is she trying to tell me something, Dr. Pete? I think she might be. Uh, would you recommend taking nitric oxide supplements to treat erectile uh, dysfunction? I would recommend uh, consideration of nitric oxide supplements in a couple of specific scenarios. One is uh, somebody that has very mild ED who for whatever reason just isn't ready to mm. consider prescription drugs. And I think that, you know, they're backed by enough evidence 
that if taken at the right dose and consistently every day, I think that's a reasonable you know, starting point for ED treatment. Understood. And uh, what are some alternatives outside of nitric oxide that uh, guys can use to try to treat erectile dysfunction symptoms? Yeah, so of course there are the FDA approved uh, medications to, mm -hmm. to treat ED, which we know are very effective and very safe. Mm -hmm. And you know, then there are more advanced treatments for people for whom the first line ED drugs don't work. Right. What would like, what's an example of those like first line? Well, ED, um, uh, so like Viagra, Cialis. Uh, the classics. Then, yeah, the classics, right? right? Those are the first line treatments. I can't argue about any of those with you. I feel like those are proven, they're tested. I, I feel like I can't really argue with you about anything, honestly. I mean, I, I don't feel like we're arguing at all. I feel like this is like a nice little relationship. I think it is. Here. It is a nice relationship. It's very healthy. You you make me better, Dr. Pete. And if you guys want to be better, keep coming back. Like, subscribe, and follow for much more content just like this.